What if I told you that the story of your existence goes back much farther than your grandparents, their grandparents, and even their grandparents' grandparents? Indeed, the narrative of our species, Homo sapiens, does not begin with written history, or even with the dawn of agriculture. It is a tale that spans hundreds of thousands of years, rooted in the very cradle of humanity, Africa. In the vast expanse of geological time, our story begins with a group of primates, whose narrative would diverge from that of their ape cousins. This divergence led to the birth of a new species, one that would ultimately shape the world as we know it. These were the first hominins, our earliest ancestors, and the beginning of the human journey. Fast forward to nearly 2 million years ago, and we encounter a new player on the stage of human evolution, Homo erectus, a species thought to be our direct predecessor. Homo erectus was unlike any hominin before it. With a larger brain and a more human-like body, Homo erectus displayed the first signs of traits we now associate with modern humans. But our lineage did not stop evolving with Homo erectus. Instead, this species was merely one step on the winding path that led to us, Homo sapiens. Our species first appeared in Africa, just about 200,000 years ago, marking a new chapter in the story of human evolution. Yet, the emergence of Homo sapiens was not the end of our evolutionary journey. It was in fact the beginning of a new one, a journey marked by migration, adaptation, and innovation. A journey that continues to shape us, even today. So, are you ready to journey back hundreds of thousands of years to uncover the true story of our species? The enigma of human origins awaits, promising a tale of survival, innovation, and the indomitable spirit of humanity. Imagine a world inhabited by a species that was not quite us, but not entirely different either. Think of a time where Homo erectus walked the earth, a species that is now extinct but was once a vital link in our evolutionary chain. Homo erectus, a name that translates to upright man, emerged nearly two million years ago. This species was the first of our ancestors to stand truly upright, a significant leap in our evolutionary journey. They were taller and more similar in body proportions to modern humans than their predecessors, with a reduction in the size of the face and teeth. Yet, they were different too. Their brain size was about half of ours, with an average capacity of around 900 cubic centimeters. This may seem small compared to our average of 1300 cubic centimeters, but it was a considerable increase from earlier hominins. This growth in brain size is thought to have been a key factor in Homo erectus becoming the first hominin to leave Africa, venturing into uncharted territories in Eurasia. These early humans led a lifestyle that was beginning to look surprisingly familiar, they formed small bands and hunted for food, but they also gathered plants and scavenged for meat. They used tools, albeit simple ones, and even harnessed the power of fire. Fire was not just a source of warmth in the cold nights or a means to ward off predators. It also allowed them to cook food, making it easier to eat and digest, thereby providing more energy for their growing brains. Homo erectus was not just an upright walker. They were also long-distance walkers and possibly runners too. The slender light body and long legs would have aided their mobility, allowing them to travel long distances in search of food and new habitats. This endurance and adaptability likely played a role in their survival for over a million years, a feat not matched by any other hominin species. But why is Homo erectus so crucial in our evolutionary story? Because they were likely the precursors of all later hominins including Homo sapiens, us. They introduced several firsts in the hominin lineage, the first to have modern human-like body proportions, the first to leave Africa, and perhaps the first to use fire. These milestones set the stage for the evolution of subsequent species including our own. So, as we trace back our roots we find ourselves looking at a species that was not quite us, but not entirely different either. A species that stood upright, used tools, harnessed fire, and ventured out of Africa. A species that paved the way for us, shaping the course of human evolution in significant ways. Homo erectus laid the groundwork for what was to come, the rise of Homo sapiens. Enter Homo sapiens, a species remarkably like us, in a world that was just starting to resemble the one we know today. Picture ancient Africa, around 200,000 years ago. This was a pivotal moment in our evolutionary story, marking the birth of a new species that would change the course of history. In the sweeping plains and dense forests of Africa, something extraordinary happened. A new kind of primate emerged, one that would shake up the existing order and set a new course for life on Earth. This creature, our ancestor, was the first Homo sapiens. 
What set Homo sapiens apart from their Homo erectus ancestors? For starters there were physical differences. Homo sapiens were taller with less robust features. They had a higher forehead, smaller brow ridges and a more rounded skull, encapsulating a larger brain. This wasn't a case of mere physical evolution though, it was a cognitive revolution. Homo sapiens were different not just in body but in mind. They thought differently, perceived the world differently, and interacted with each other in ways that their ancestors could never have imagined. Their larger brains gave them the ability to think abstractly and creatively, to problem-solve and innovate. They developed language allowing them to communicate complex ideas and forge stronger social ties. This was a game-changer. Suddenly these early humans could plan, strategize, and work together in ways that had never been possible before. But it wasn't just their brains that were evolving. Homo sapiens were also changing physically. They developed a more efficient way of walking and running, making them highly mobile. They had longer limbs and shorter torsos, which helped them endure the heat of the African savanna. Their hands were more dexterous, capable of creating and using tools with a precision that their predecessors could only dream of. These physical and cognitive advancements were significant, but they were only part of the story. Homo sapiens were also incredibly adaptable. They lived in a variety of environments from the hot, dry savannas to the cold, harsh mountains. They learned to harness fire, to hunt and to gather, developing a diverse diet that allowed them to thrive in different climates and landscapes. So, there we have it. Homo sapiens, a species that looked a lot like us, thinking in ways that were startlingly similar to our own. They were the first to display the kind of intelligence, creativity, and adaptability that we associate with being human. And it was these traits that allowed them to survive and flourish while other species faltered. But how did Homo sapiens come to dominate the world while our close relatives faded into extinction? That, my friends, is a story for another time. The answer to our global dominance lies in a journey, a great migration that began in Africa. The Out of Africa theory is a fascinating tale of survival and triumph. One that traces the footsteps of our ancestors as they ventured out into the unknown. It proposes that modern humans, Homo sapiens, originated in Africa around 200,000 years ago. From this cradle of humanity, our ancestors fanned out, gradually populating every corner of the globe. This wasn't a single journey but a series of migrations each group of early Homo sapiens venturing farther than the last. They traversed deserts, climbed mountains and crossed seas, they faced harsh climates and unfamiliar predators. But they adapted and persevered driven by an innate survival instinct and a curiosity that pushed them towards the horizon. The first wave of migration took our ancestors out of Africa and into the Middle East, around 70,000 years ago. From there, they spread to Asia and Europe. This was a time of great change, with the Earth's climate fluctuating between ice ages and warmer periods. These climate shifts opened up new migration routes, allowing Homo sapiens to reach places that were previously inaccessible. As they moved, these early humans encountered other hominid species, such as the Neanderthals in Europe. There was some interbreeding but for the most part, Homo sapiens replaced these other species. The reasons for this are still debated but it's likely that our ancestors' superior cognitive abilities played a significant role. Around 40,000 years ago, Homo sapiens reached Australia, having crossed the sea from Southeast Asia. This was a remarkable achievement, demonstrating their ability to build watercraft and navigate the open ocean. The last continent to be populated was the Americas. The exact timing and route of this migration are subjects of ongoing debate, however it's generally agreed that Homo sapiens crossed from Siberia into Alaska during the last ice age around 15,000 years ago. From there they spread south, reaching the southern tip of South America within a few thousand years. This great migration wasn't just a physical journey, but a cultural and technological one as well. As they moved, Homo sapiens developed new tools and ways of life, adapting to the diverse environments they encountered. They painted cave walls, carved figurines, and even created musical instruments. These cultural innovations along with their cognitive abilities, allowed them to thrive in a variety of environments, from the frozen tundra of Siberia to the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia. The Out of Africa theory has revolutionized our understanding of human evolution. It's a testament to our ancestors' resilience and adaptability, traits that we've inherited and that continue to shape our species. Through this great journey, Homo sapiens became a truly global species. In a world once filled with a variety of human species only one remains, us, Homo sapiens. 
Around 200,000 years ago our planet was a melting pot of human diversity. Homo neanderthalensis, Homo denisova, Homo floresiensis and Homo erectus to name a few walked the earth alongside our ancestors. Imagine that, different species of humans coexisting, each with their unique attributes and ways of life, but today, only we, Homo sapiens, remain. So what happened to our ancient relatives, why did they vanish while we persisted? To answer these questions scientists have proposed several theories, let's explore some of these shall we? One theory points to climate change. Dramatic shifts in temperature and weather patterns may have pushed other human species to extinction. Homo sapiens however were remarkably adaptable. We could survive in the heat of the African plains and the freezing cold of the last ice age. This adaptability likely gave us a crucial survival edge. Another theory suggests that Homo sapiens outcompeted other human species for resources. As skilled hunters and gatherers, we were efficient at exploiting the environment. We could hunt large game, fish, gather fruits and dig for tubers. Our varied diet meant we could survive where others could not. Then there's the theory of interbreeding. Genetic evidence shows that modern humans share a small percentage of DNA with Neanderthals and Denisovans. This suggests that Homo sapiens didn't just outlive these species, we absorbed them into our gene pool through interbreeding. But perhaps the most compelling theory lies in our social behavior. Homo sapiens were not just survivors, but innovators. We developed complex language, enabling us to share ideas and cooperate on a scale unmatched by other human species. This social complexity allowed us to form larger communities, distribute resources more effectively, and respond collectively to threats. In all likelihood, it wasn't just one of these factors, but a combination that led to our survival and the extinction of other human species. We were adaptable, resourceful, innovative, and perhaps a bit lucky too. But let's not forget our evolutionary journey is far from over. As we continue to explore our past, we gain valuable insights into our present and future. We are the descendants of survivors, the inheritors of an ancient legacy of adaptability and innovation. And as we face the challenges of our time, from climate change to global pandemics, these traits will be our greatest assets. We are Homo sapiens, the wise man, the knowing man. We have come a long way from our humble beginnings in the African savanna. We have populated every corner of the globe, built civilizations, split the atom, and even walked on the moon. But as we look to the stars and dream of distant worlds, let's not forget our roots. We are, after all, the children of this earth, the sole surviving members of the human family tree. It seems, in the great lottery of evolution, we hit the jackpot. So, let's take a moment to recap the fascinating journey of our species. We started off with the enigma of human origins, a mystery that has puzzled scientists and researchers for centuries. Our journey began in Africa, where the roots of our species, Homo sapiens, are deeply embedded. It was here, some 200,000 years ago, that our ancestors first emerged from the evolutionary line of Homo erectus, an extinct species of hominid. This emergence marked the dawn of a new era, an era dominated by Homo sapiens, the wise man. As we evolved we developed cognitive abilities that set us apart from other species. We learned to use tools, to communicate, and to create complex social structures. We became the architects of our own destiny. The story of our species doesn't end in Africa though. From this cradle of humanity, our ancestors embarked on a great migration, spreading across the globe. This, out of Africa theory is supported by a plethora of evidence including genetic data, archaeological findings and fossil records. Our ancestors left the African continent in waves populating every corner of the earth. As they migrated they encountered other hominid species such as the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Yet despite these encounters Homo sapiens remained the last standing member of the genus Homo. We survived while others did not. This survival was not due to luck but rather our adaptability, intelligence and social cohesion. Through each stage of our evolution, we've demonstrated an incredible ability to adapt and innovate. We've faced countless challenges from harsh climates to fierce predators and yet we've endured. Our story is one of resilience and exploration, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. And there you have it, a brief summary of our species' long and complex journey. But remember, evolution is not a process with an end point. These words echo the essence of our biological journey, a journey that has shaped us, Homo sapiens, into what we are today and continues to influence what we will become tomorrow. Indeed, we are the product of an evolution process that has been ongoing for millions of years. 
This process didn't halt with the emergence of Homo sapiens 200,000 years ago. It didn't stop when we invented tools, discovered fire, or started to cultivate the land. It continues today, subtly and silently shaping our species in ways we may not even realize. Consider this, our ancestors, the early Homo sapiens, had to contend with a harsh and unpredictable world. They faced predators, famine, disease and the elements, all of which exerted a selective pressure on our species. Those who could adapt, survived. Those who couldn't, perished. This is the essence of natural selection, the driving force of evolution. But what about today? Our world is vastly different from the one our ancestors faced. We have technology, medicine, and an intricate social structure. Yet, evolution continues, it's happening right now, within us, it's in the subtle changes in our genes, the slight variations in our traits, the small adaptations that enable us to survive and thrive in our ever-changing world. The journey of Homo sapiens is far from over. We are not the end product of evolution, but merely a snapshot in time. As the world continues to change, so too will we. Our bodies, our minds, our cultures, all are subject to the relentless force of evolution. So as we look to the future, we must remember our past, for it is the foundation upon which we continue to build our story. We've traveled back in time, retraced the steps of our ancestors, and explored the origins of our species. It's been an illuminating journey, one that has taken us through the eons, from the birth of Homo erectus, our long-extinct ancestor, to the emergence of Homo sapiens, the modern humans. We've tread the path of evolution, from the plains of Africa to the farthest reaches of the globe. We've uncovered the secrets that lie within our DNA, secrets that tell tales of survival, adaptation, and migration. We have seen how the human species has evolved, adapted, and survived in the face of countless challenges and obstacles. This journey has taught us that we are more than just a product of our genes. We are a testament to the enduring spirit of our ancestors, to their resilience and their drive to survive and thrive in a world that was often harsh and unforgiving. Our evolutionary history is not just a story of survival, but also a story of innovation and progress. It's a story of how we have come to dominate the planet, not through brute force, but through our ability to think, to communicate, to cooperate, and to innovate. Understanding our past is crucial to navigating our future. It reminds us that we are part of a larger story, a story that began millions of years ago and continues to unfold. It teaches us that we are not just individuals, but part of a species, part of a lineage, part of a grand and intricate web of life. The study of human evolution is not just about understanding where we came from, but also about understanding who we are and what we can become. It's a journey that continues to inspire, to intrigue, and to challenge us, pushing us to look deeper, to question, and to learn, as we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we forge ahead into the future, forever marked by the journey of those who came before us. Embrace the thrill of the game, like share, comment, and subscribe. Keep the conversation going, stay tuned for more exhilarating moments, your participation fuels our content.